What about you? Wait and see. Volt out. Is that how he officially turns off the transmission? He just hits his desk with his fist? Go, go, go. Oh, look at that really nice squad over there. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Esh Plays. Welcome back to Nice Squad here with XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Let's click on the button, eh? Let's see what's next. The councilman has tracked the alien black site to this region. Unfortunately, we don't have its exact coordinates yet. If we're going to have any chance of finding this facility, we'll need to make contact with the local resistance cell nearby. Tigan has a theory about how we might reach out to them without getting the alien's attention, but we'll need to give him time to conduct his research. We shouldn't wait too long on that, Commander. We have to start making contact with other regions soon if we're going to build a global resistance and take on Advent. New objective added. Okay. Research resistance communications. Fly to the Black Site region and make contact. Looks like you won't have time for that just yet, though. Remote reconnaissance may have found something not far from our current position. Supplies. Avenger Investigate. So they're not really... They're, we're still in the phase of the game where it's not really giving as much, like, choice in the matter of uh, certain things. For, new missions or the completion of our research, we can pass uh, for the sake of teaching us like the mechanics. On your order, we'll start our scans of the surrounding area. Also, the writing in this game... This was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. By autopsy of the Advent, Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the Advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the Commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes, what we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. Even in the subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. My call is for you to shave that damn stubble off, Central. Added. Construct the Proving Grounds facility, complete the Skulljack project in the Proving Grounds, and use the Skulljack on an Advent officer. We're ready to move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. Commander, if we're going to try to build this Skulljack that Tigan came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. Commander, the science team has grown particularly interested in this field of research. So Ooh, much so, they're blowing up my fucking celly, boys. Jeez. In our research efficiency. Honestly. However, that's fine. Here's what we'll do. They are a we'll group. cut Tigan off. To begin, so that we can hear ourselves think. Because for some reason the XCOM writers, they write like two or three extra paragraphs that you don't need. And it makes me so mad. 
Tigan interrupting me nonstop. Jesus. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's start this. Let's start over, okay? Oh, okay. So, right now we're clearing alien debris. We are researching the experimental weapons tech because it's inspired and I want it. Rather than the uh, communications thing. Probably, it could be a questionable call, but I'm going for it. And then we have the supply drop in 12 days. We're working on this one. And then we have this is what we're working towards. So let's just get this scan on. I think really... We don't have anything to do until this debris is cleared. And then we can start the, building the proving grounds. Proving grounds build. Proving will start work on the new facility right away, Commander. I'll send word when it's up and running. Alright, we've got our engineer in there. Do we have just the There's one? There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander. But we'll need more engineers to clear up space for construction first. Thanks, Shin. I, I, I specifically clicked less beginner voiceover when I started this, but you know what? Ignore my orders. And do whatever the hell you want. Sure, build a VCR with the wings on it. I don't care. Uh, I want the crew to stay away from the Advent League rations. We still don't I'm not sure why that thing was that glowing. Because oh, I probably moused well over it. Underway. But it will be some time yet before my reach. Just calm down, Tigan. Jesus. He's passing okay. by in the hall and he's like, Don't worry, Commander. Until like I didn't worry, Tigan, until you said something to me. Commander, after our recent success members of the resistance in New Arctic have brought us reports of activity that might want to best investigate. Avenger plotting new So we get uh rookies from this. Which since it's our only option, I don't guess there's much uh, question in doing this or not. We're just waiting for our experiments you and stuff. Too trusting, John. The skirmishers oh, I see. This is where the DLC Advent kicks in. Here we go. Is the enemy. The enemy is food. Try not to bring that up when we meet, Hulk. You take their side after all we've seen these years. Look. I'm not exactly having drinks with them, but they did hold up their end of the bargain. What about you? Wait and see. Volt out. Is that how he officially turns off the transmission? He just hits his desk with his fist? That was Konstantin Volokov, Volk to his friends. He and his Reapers are a big part of the reason why you're standing here today. Volk may be a little rough around the edges, but he's the real deal. It's one of three resistance groups operating independently from us that we consider a legitimate threat to Advent. Together, they'd make one hell of a fighting force. Too bad they hate each other. Still, we've made some unlikely progress. Volk's Reapers may have found you, but they weren't acting alone. They were tipped off by a group of Advent defectors known as the Skirmishers. No one's big on working with these guys, knowing where they came from. But you wouldn't be here without their help. Both the Reapers and the Skirmishers have agreed to suspend hostilities provided you serve as the go-between. Trust doesn't come easy between these two, so we're heading for a nice quiet spot on neutral ground. Even so, let's not take any chances. Intel on this area is weak and we're picking up strange chatter on comms. Not to mention we're ending a decade-long blood feud today. I'd advise our soldiers to be fully prepared before we deploy on this one, Commander. Good luck. Old Central. The more I look at Central... We're all friends now. Maybe you could lend my people a hand in dealing with a problem of ours. Not sure how long our contacts are going to wait like this, for us, Like this, this is unnecessary. So I recommend we proceed as soon as possible. All available soldiers are standing by to deploy. We get a scientist in Intel, but honestly, there's no other choice, really. We get uh we get a a couple boys from this, which is uh, imperative. We need the boys, okay? Um, the, the more I look at Central, the more flaws I see. <laughs> okay, his eyes are too close together. He has weird gray stubble. His haircut is really weird. Has to allow a two squad All right. To escort them to the Who are you two? Hopefully that should be enough to keep them from killing each other. Who are you? Who's this guy? What's this, for the duration what's of this guy here? That doesn't mean we shouldn't be ready for anything. Who's next? Who wants to have a monologue next, please? 
All right, so we've got people we haven't really messed around with right now. We got a recruit named Lorenzo Ricci with possibly the best or worst hair of all time. I can't decide. Um, we aren't going to change their looks really on camera. And we got a rookie as well. So, like, do we not have... Can we get some... Can we even this up a bit? Oh, I see. That's why. Well, it's probably best that we have... That we have the recruits only. So, Emily... Emily Harris and Vanya Bog, Bogdanov. Fantastic. Fantastic names. Okay. Oh, this guy is the worst. Look at him. So bad. All right, we're, you're out of here. Sorry. I'll leave Lee in there. Um, Feng Yin Chin. Strong name. Strong name. A lot of dreadlocks in the old recruit bay. Uh, I'm going to have to fix that. But first, let's just send him on a mission, right? You earn your... Um, when you get promoted, one of the benefits is that you get a bigger room in the dormitories, but also you get the commander comes in and he's just like, all right, everybody come on in, come into my salon. There's a special salon on the freaking Avenger. And he's just like, congratulations, you've been chosen for a makeover. And it's a uh, broadcast across the whole ship. It's fantastic TV, big end mission. Skirmishers have been at each other's throats for years, so we're keeping the exact meeting point strictly need to know. You'll split into two squads, rendezvous with each faction, and bring their envoy directly to the location of the meet. Officially, this city no longer exists. Operation Lost and Abandoned is underway, everyone. of yours. Your presence already disturbs them. We must move quickly. My people will take care of this camp. Come. Uploading the coordinates mm, to the rendezvous central right place. Now. We've plotted the most direct route there. We don't know much about the skirmisher contact you'll be meeting other than his name. Mox. Mox? Praetal Mox? His death squads wiped out entire camps of my people in the first years of the war. You would dare do this? Pretty sure hands are bloody on both sides of this fight. That's the whole point of this intervention. Reapers are born in the, uh... the cold, harsh world that was waiting for us out there. We rely on stealth and long-range attacks. And our marksmen are unmatched by even the best XCOM has to offer. Right, anyway. I feel like they gloss over the fact that apparently these guys are eating the aliens. It's just briefly mentioned. Everybody's like, yeah, that's normal. Sure. It's, uh, I personally am not going to let this slide, Elena. Alright, let's uh, just... Keep, we're going to use Elena to move forward because of the way her shadow works, obviously. She doesn't trigger anything. She stays concealed. These devices still emit trace elements of unstable radiation. I cannot fathom what they were like in 
their original function. We were there, Doctor. You're better off having missed it. Moving out. All right, now we just move our boys. Let's move our boys up here. Let's get behind this Dodge Avenger or whatever up here and uh Running. So it's pretty straightforward because since we don't have any um anyone but recruits, rookies rather. There's not too much to really think about. Just shoot and to shoot and to kill because these guys are all fodder pretty much. I'm surprised they didn't see us. All right, so I'm going to move up. You know, do I have a shot here? I do have one, the one shot. Is there anything up here? No. I'll just move her here. I am at your service. And I'm going to put these guys into Overwatch positions. Scanning. You think you'll see him there? No more yeah, damn. We are not alone. It's all right. That's all right. He's done it. I wish you could just click on it. If we are careful with that seems like a useful... Just click on this thing. Oh, it made me cancel the whole user interface because of that. So, these guys have headshot mechanic. I'm sure you guys know. Uh, if you get a kill, you basically get another free uh, go at it. So you can sort of chain together kills. I don't really want to get her out of concealment even by accident. So I think what I'm going to do here... I think the best thing I can do is get an Overwatch. And then... Wait, doesn't she have it where if she kills someone, it doesn't? I don't remember. I think she has to spec into it, actually. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just hunker down. Oh, God, there's more. Here they come. Here them boys come. So we just got to keep moving, basically. That's the whole main objective. Hunkering down may not have been the best. We need to play aggressive, I think, on these dudes. Just so, so we can make uh, some progress here, some semblance of progress. That was a terrible miss. Sure. Damn it. That seems unlikely. What you doing there, buddy? What you doing there, buddy? Hmm? You just having a nice ponder? Well Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We'll move. We'll shoot. We we will overwatch. Many fled to cities and then we will for food. They did not heed the shadow it's time to focus. and move all the way over here. I'll be there soon. All right, we've seen our boys. Seen some more boys here. Our forward scout's doing her jib. Her jerb. So... From here, she can only hit the one dude, but if she moves over a little bit, she okay. has a sight. He has sight on all of them. Beautiful. It's not a huge percentage, but essentially, it's all free, right? If he can do this, holy shit! Damn, dude. Three sixty-sixes in a row, huh? All right. Let's get him to reload. My people have encountered these beings before. At first, they may appear mindless. Oh no, not quite well. Yeah, necessary ladder climbs. Alright, let's move uh, Vanya next. Hmm. You know, I think I might put him up here. Roger that. All right, Vanya. All right, and then can she hit a shot? She can, but I don't think I want to. I'm going to put her in a position where she's not going to be, like, screwed over, I don't think. 
Unfortunately, it wants me to jump over. I go where you tell me. We'll get her in there without making any noise. I don't think they're gonna run in here, so. Oh shit, they saw another one. Extraction point is close, but looks like these things don't want to make it easy for you. We will make it to your pet advent in time. An entire city of our own people left to turn into these things. Yes. All we can offer them now. I just noticed the turn limit. We only have three more turns to get here, so I need to move these boys up. And in fact, I think this might be the turn to spawn another pod for the sake of Getting the claymore to kill all those dudes so we have a clear path. So, let's... Oh, no, daddy. She has move, though. She has move. I think if she moves here... I'm on the move. Sh oh, god damn, dude. Alright, it's fine, though. This is all that matters. What? That's her turn? I didn't realize it took the entire turn. Oh, that's such a waste then. Don't worry, we can run These past them. Are worse even than Advent. They have no cause, no fear. They simply exist. If we do this is gonna hit another I think this is gonna hit another one. Yeah. More than they are. I'll see if they move any closer, we can maybe get a bunch of grenade kills on this. This is probably a bad the situation is really terrible, to be honest. Um, but what can you do? I need, I need to figure out what I'm going to do here, to be honest. So let's get him out here. This mission is actually really easy if you're not really stupid like I've been. So apologies. All right. Um, so maybe... No... It's unfortunate we don't have a grenadier, to be honest. You know what? The most important thing is to get her into this place. I can get there. The recruits are the most expendable, obviously. Alright, what about the other dude? He doesn't even have a turn, so... Can we get a three grenade kill? It's really funny that mindless zombies even know enough to not get close enough for more than two to get killed by a grenade in this. Alright, um, you know what? It doesn't really matter too much which of the two we get. So let's get these two, I guess. Take this. We're gonna take hits. We're going to take hits no matter what. These two as well, eh? Oh, this is... Oh, boy. This is maybe both of them dead, honestly. I don't know how it works. Yeah, they're both going to attack. We risk all this for pray tell mock? Calm down, not, Elena. Me, Jesus. Kill him Looking forward to this meeting already. Will do. I'm surprised they didn't get more of the tax than that. Move soldiers to meeting point. Heading to that location. You should have a clear path through now. Second squad is already en route to Mox. Proceed to the rendezvous and await their arrival. Oh. We'll be there. Well, that was actually... I thought I was going to have to uh, hit my evac button, but you just got to get them all there. All things considered, that went better than it should have. I misplayed a lot there. I haven't played XCOM in a few days, so you're going to have to cut me some slack. <laughs> Alright, now we're at the Prado Mock side of this mission.
his eyes doing? <laughs> Her fucking face. She doesn't look impressed, does she? Alright, Robocop. Let's do it. Rendezvous with Outrider is further ahead. Proceed through this district as quickly as possible, but be careful. Something tells me this city still has a few more surprises to throw our way. Surprises are the least of our worries today. It is these Reapers of yours that are of true concern. This is a good thing to stare at. We, the Skirmishers, were created by the false gods of this world to serve and die as their puppets. We retain all that we were and more, and our prowess in battle serves us well in our cause. In close combat, none can stand opposed to us. All right, man. All right, Beatos. I'm like the confidence. All right, so he's got a bulb up there, and it lets him shoot twice in a turn, or move and shoot in a turn, or whatever. It's pretty good. He's got grapple, which is a free move, which is good. Um, in general, uh, skirmishers are great. Okay, so where's this thing at comparatively to us? It's pretty far, but we can make our way there. I think that we've learned a little bit of a lesson that early on we need to move as far as we can. And then later in the mission we need to be a little more careful. Maybe he's trying to stick to one side of the street. I remember seeing these things before. You were not meant to. Purifiers were created with a singular purpose. To contain the drop ten, the lost. We must eliminate this patrol quickly before others arrive. Fine by me. Take them down. Let's take them down? Got no shot, though, on her, unfortunately. We might have to just overwatch on uh, Feng Yin Chin here. We'll see what happens at the end of the turns of the others. Uh, he's got a shot. It's 38. It's pretty terrible. Um, these guys really... Hmm... Somehow, if I move him here, I'll have a shot on both of these guys. So um, this might be worth doing. What about a grapple? Only has a shot on one, but it is a flanking shot. Utilizing hook. Utilize that hook. All right. So ninety-four, much better. And let's finish this boy off. Will they blow up? I don't remember. Doesn't look like it. I think they might in cir certain circumstances, but not in that one, apparently. What about the other person? Why can't she have a turn? I guess when it's to, because of... He has a shot here. Okay. Let's just move them up. And it's a 26% chance. Uh, it's a huge miss there. That is not good. No, you're telling me? It's gonna flamethrower you now. You did this to yourself. All right, we need to hunker her down. Oh, she's taking two damage already, of course. All right, let's move her over here. Let's hunker her down. We don't need to take any more unnecessary damage at this point because they're recruits. They won't have that much to really. I really shouldn't have moved her there, to be honest. That, that's a good spot for somebody that can actually shoot. But let's see what Pradle Mox can do first. He's got a 41% chance. Um, if he moves down here, it will be a flank. I go as ordered. 84% chance. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, so if I move her up here, is there a flanking position I can get to? No. But this has got to be a better position. 
It's a risky one because obviously she'll be out of cover, but I want to try to get the kill here without taking any more fire sh damage. Hmm. I mean, I can hit her from here or hit the dude from there. I can hit him from here, which is a little bit better. She can potentially take damage uh, without having to worry about it too much. So I think I'm just going to move her here. 59. I was hoping for something higher than that, but... That was actually... That one blew up. You said those tanks could explode. Careful with these things. We don't need to take any unnecessary chances. The patrol has been liberated. May their lives not be lost in vain. We must push forward and complete our mission. Works for me. Move out. All right, Praetal. Uh, prenatal Mox. Let's do this. All right, so... Move it forward there, Rachel Lee. Yeah. We're going to make Rachel Lee our Overwatch lady. Try to keep her on blue moves, and then the rest... This is like a, I think this is this, one of the missions where you have to like, uh, wait or something. I don't remember. There's not a time limit, so you have to like defend yourself from waves. So if we can get ourselves in the positions to like do that efficiently. Got it covered. Oh, I remember this. They sure are real casual about this whole flamethrowing thing. I mean, if it was that easy, Pradle Moss, maybe we should just start doing that to begin with. Purifiers may be down, but unfortunately, that was our extraction point. I fear that is not the worst of it. Multiple biological signatures rapidly on approach to your position. The lost. The sound of combat excite them. They are drawn to it. And you just blew up a fuel truck? There was no other choice. Find an alternate exit. We will deal with the lost. Draklar. Dashers. They are not as docile as the rest of their kind. Alright, no grenades if we can help it. It would seem the mutation has somehow accelerated... I want to keep her here, if I can, so I'm going to overwatch on her. 85%, it's pretty good. I mean, a grenade would be amazing, wouldn't it? But at the same time, like... All right, let's just move her away then. Oh, fucking Pradle moved all the way up there. For the sake of the cutscene, unfortunately. Not exactly where I wanted him to go. I'd like him over here, but... Doesn't seem like that's in the cards right now, so... Let's just, uh, move him. He's gotta reload. Shit, I just realized that. He's not gonna be able to do anything this round. I probably should have left him there. And put him on Overwatch. The tragic misses that we're having on these Overwatches. Something else. Jeez. Are they going to get hits on him? Okay. Doesn't seem like it. Alright. Let's start by seeing if we can free up some people here. Calm down, Mox. Jesus. He didn't kill him? Cradle Mox. Ammunition depleted. I am reloading. He is reloading, that's for sure. Alright, what about you now? Can you save our boy? What about what his percentages are? Can he save himself? I thought he missed that first. I thought she missed that first second. I was about to be. 
All right. Well, that's not the best, is it? All right, um, hostiles have been pacified, so let's overwatch with her. You're telling me no overwatch has been triggered? Okay, good. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Taken care of. That whole area is hotter than we thought. Gonna need a little more time. Understood. All right, we're gonna Holy reload. Back in. Overwatch. overwatch. She has a shot. It's 66 shot. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Reload. Oh, she can still take a shot. Okay, that's great. That is actually really good. Because now she can overwatch on the free action she got from the headshot. He can finish the remaining dude. And then get ready for another wave. Uh, another miss on the loss, which are some of the... Oh, no. She got killed. I'm sorry. I'll take it all back. She, went, she got dirty on him. All right. Here we go. What the hell are you shooting? <laughs> Why did it go so far in the air? That's such a weird miss. Jesus. Just shot straight up. You have your well, no wonder it's taking him so long to land. We're just firing straight up in the air at them. Alright, um, so... No reason not to overwatch with a reload. Scanning. Reload. Overwatch. Covering now. Reload. Overwatch. Okay. You couldn't freaking land her on us. Oh, we get another turn. All right. So there's gonna be a new swarm. Let's move her up to a blue move first and see what happens. And we'll move him into a blue move as well. To that position. Uh, grapple, free move, grapple up to the truck. I take a new approach. And Overwatch from here seems like a good idea. We're gonna do a yellow move because he's so far. She's so far away. We need her to get up here as quick as possible. So. Sacrifice her ability to be offensive. And... I don't think we're going to be in danger even if some dudes show up. Unless they spawn right behind us, of course. Oh my god, that's a lot. They don't get to attack, do they? They just spawn. Okay, good. Um, so I do have an idea... We'll get her up here first and see what see what looks like. And I can get you into the objective. There we go. Uh The main thing is I don't want her to get killed, actually. So I am a little bit worried about blowing that truck up, if I'm being honest. But I don't think this will... I don't think this is going to do it. It's really hard to freaking get this on the right square. That'll hit both of these dudes. It really doesn't want to, but I can... I've hit, had it there before. Okay. All right, now she should be able to move as far away as possible and hopefully it'll be far enough away that she won't get hit. 
Yeah, they're good. We're good. All right, we're going to move you over here. Overwatch, Overwatch, and we've done it. Outrider and the first team should be waiting for you ahead. I know this wasn't the easiest stop, but I have to believe it'll still be worth it in the end. That depends on the Reapers. Calm down, Mox. 